Hi, this is Marshall Wright with Decker Wright Corporation. Today I'm going to show you how to access webmail for Microsoft's Exchange Online service. The first thing you need to do is open a browser up, preferably Internet Explorer, and go to the Microsoft Online website. The URL for that is http colon slash slash portal dot Microsoft Online dot com. Once you get to the portal, you'll need to log in. Now, in this particular case, someone logged in before me that is uh, not my login, so I'm going to click sign on with a different ID, and it will bring me to this screen, and I'm going to type in my username and logon, which you'll need. The username is your email address. In this case, dwcguest at decorite.com, and password that you should have. Sign in. Now when you land, after you successfully have logged in, you'll come to this portal page. If you have Office 365, you'll have these options. If you have Exchange Online, the only option you'll have is Outlook. To get to your email, you either click on Outlook here at the top or Inbox over or under the Outlook category. I'm going to click up here for Outlook. And the Exchange Online web portal opens up. Notice that the web portal has a lot of the same characteristics of uh, Microsoft Outlook. Uh, it includes access to your mail, your calendar, contacts, and tasks. So we could go and look at my calendar and see that I have a single meeting for tomorrow. In my email, I can open up my email messages. They'll open up in a window and I can reply to reply to all or forward all the basic email functions. Now one of the things you won't see at this point is all my email. If we're moving into an Exchange Online situation, we'll use webmail as a starting point and then we'll import the contents of my Outlook mailbox into the Exchange Online mailbox. At that point you'd see all my email, all of my calendars, all of my contacts up here in the Microsoft Online system. This provides a very convenient way for you to stay in touch regardless of where you are or whether or not you have access to your computer. Uh, that's it for this demo. We'll be doing some future ones on how to use the calendar and how to share the calendar. So stay tuned.